everyone, it's November already, so time for another Plan With Me video. This month's theme is Dia de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead. So for this monthly spread, I am pushing personal boundaries and being very experimental and using different techniques to what I've done before. When I think of the Day of the Dead, I think of lots of beautiful, vibrant colours. So I ordered these neon acrylics from Amazon, which I haven't tried before, and I haven't worked with acrylics for many years. For my cover page, I had an idea of doing a collage. You can see I quickly laid down a strip of neon paint in my notebook, which will make sense in a moment. So something entirely new for me this month, I received an early Christmas present, which was a cricket, cricket? I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. After lots of foul language, I finally figured out how to use it, and then I kind of went a bit crazy with cutting out designs that I thought would be relevant for this month's theme. I'm not gonna lie, the husband and the kids were kind of like, you should really stop now, when's it gonna end? As I didn't have any neon cardstock, I decided to cut them in white card and then paint them. I ended up having to do two layers because the paint wasn't quite thick enough. So after painting copious amounts of little designs that I'd cut out, that was only a small fraction of what you could see in the video by the way, um, I wanted to border my cover page with some beautiful washi tape that I'd got from the Gothic Stationery Company. So I cut the title of November on some black cardstock using the machine and um, now you can see why I painted that neon green underneath. So I'm going to layer the cardstock on top and then rip the edges to give it that really nice textured look. Now I'm just going to spend a little while trying to work out where I want everything to go before I stick it all down. So I wanted to incorporate sugar skulls and flowers, but also bunting and um, I think it's called papel picado. I'm not quite sure, that sounds so English the way I say that. I'm sorry I don't speak Spanish. So apologies for my pronunciation for anything in this video, but um, also butterflies. <laughs> Moving on to the calendar page, um, I won't be doing any collage for this one. Um, I have drawn out my design and I am going to just be doing a little bit of painting. I chose this theme for November not only because it's relevant to this month, but because I've always wanted to visit Mexico, especially around this holiday. The Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos is a two-day holiday that reunites the living and the dead. Families create ofrendas to honour their departed family members that have passed. These altars are decorated with bright yellow marigold flowers, photos of the departed and the favourite foods and drinks of the ones being honoured. The offerings are believed to encourage visits from the land of the dead as the departed souls hear their prayers, smell their foods and join in the celebrations. Day of the Dead is a rare holiday for celebrating death and life. It is unlike any other holiday where mourning is exchanged for celebration. The holiday starts at midnight of November the 1st, which is Dia de los Angelitos or Day of the Little Angels. This is the day that is dedicated to the spirits of little children, who are believed to be reunited with their families for 24 hours. Sugar skulls, along with toys and photographs, are left on the altars for children who have passed. The skull is not a morbid symbol, but rather a whimsical reminder of the cyclicality of life which they brightly decorate and the names of the departed children will often be written on a sugar skull. At midnight of the following day, November the 2nd, the celebrations shift to honour the lives of the departed adults. In homage to this beautiful tradition, I chose to honour someone who is incredibly important to me in my monthly spread, my gran. I had some copies of some old photographs that were taken of her back in 1932 over such a long period of time, the pictures had faded a fair amount, so I used this app called Remini, which enhances and sharpens old or blurred photographs with amazing results. 
It's kind of a free app. You get five free enhancements a day. So as long as you stick to that, you don't have to pay for anything. But I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. I've popped a link to this app in the description below, along with a list of all the materials I used in this video. So on this spread dedicated to my gran, I wanted to create a monochrome collage, um, only purely just because I wanted to give my eyes a little bit of a break from all the neon. I'm leaving quite a lot of space blank because I wanted to write a few things off camera that um, I remember most about my gran. Things like she's the strongest woman or even person that I've ever known. Her love and support for all the family was unwavering, as was her generosity. You were never allowed to leave her home without taking something back with you. How she had this wonderful ability to tell you a story from long ago that made you feel like you were there with her. And her sweet tooth. Her love for cakes and cream cakes and custard creams. And in this way, I definitely take after my gran. Because I have so much to say about my gran, um, I did a two double page spread, but with a quote. And I found this one that said, those we love, don't go away, they walk beside us every day. Unseen, unheard, but always near, still loved, still missed, and very dear. Which I thought was lovely and incredibly appropriate for this theme. On the other page, I wanted to try and recreate an ofrenda, or at the very least make reference to. So I painted an image of a candle, some marigolds and some papel picada, leaving some space in the middle to continue writing. Papel picado is a decorative craft made by cutting elaborate designs into sheets of tissue paper. It's also considered a Mexican folk art. So I've now moved on to my November bucket list page. What I started doing here, I ended up not liking at all, so I ended up changing it. Before I could rectify anything, I had to let the paint dry, so I started working on my line a day spread. Which I decided to keep nice and simple with just the title and some sugar skulls at the top. So now that the paint's dry, I could try to hide the mess that I've made on that page. So to cover up what I don't like about this page, I found this vibrant pink cardstock. I'll be honest with you, it wouldn't have been my first choice, but it's the only sort of vibrant colour that I had in my supplies that would kind of go with this theme. So I guess you just got to work with what you've got sometimes, right? I then made some bullet points using the washi tape with these really cute skulls on them, which I think looks a lot better than the previous flowers that I did. For this month's bucket list, I put we want to go and see a fireworks display because here in the UK on the 5th of November, it's Guy Fawkes night. Um, family roast dinner because that's always a good thing. Nature walk because I need to get out of the house more. Start Christmas shopping. I haven't done any yet at all, which is now starting to stress me out. Date night, I think me and the husband want to go and see the new Ghostbusters film because we love Ghostbusters, the original ones, and um, I also love Paul Rudd, so that's happening. Uh, take the kids to Christmas World, which is a thing at our local garden centre that's a huge Christmas display, and it's beautiful. And also cheese and wine night, because why not? So I'm almost finished with these two spreads, I'm just going to stick that card in, and then I'm going to add some more detail to the skulls and then add a little bit more colour and then we can move on to the next. from a habit tracker page this month I will be tracking five things so I'm doing five grids I think they're two by two squares adding some drop shadow 
and some more of this awesome washing day. It wasn't necessarily a conscious choice to go for a very black and white spread for my habit trackers, um, but I found this little guy on the Cricut Design Maker, and um, I had to add him because he's just awesome. And I think it was just nice to sort of break up all that vibrant colour with just something a bit more simplistic. But I intend to go full colour again with my mood trackers. I'm going to add lots of different flowers, some chilli peppers and some sugar skulls. And hopefully at the end of the month, this will be incredibly bright and cheerful. And whilst we're on the subject of flowers, marigolds are used heavily in the Day of the Dead celebrations. They are also called Fleur de Muerto, Spanish for Flower of the Dead. They are believed to be the pathways that guide the spirits to their ofrendas. The flowers' vibrant colours and scent attract the departed souls as they return to feast on their favourite foods. They also symbolise the beauty and fragility of life. Marigold flowers include around 60 annuals and perennials that are native to Mexico and Central America. to my first weekly spread. I chose to keep my layout nice and simple. Adding a portrait of a female sugar skull at the bottom right hand of the page. Which I add colour to with the neon acrylics. Um, some more floral designs around the edges and some colour to the days of the week. And I'm done. I'm not going to lie, I'm not entirely happy with how everything turned out. Um, what I had going on in my head and what happened in my journal are two entirely different things. I'm quite disappointed with myself because I absolutely love you know, Mexican art and, and the culture around the Day of the Dead. Um, I have so much respect for it and I wanted to do the theme the justice it deserved, but I don't think I kind of pulled it off personally. But, you know, you guys let me know what you think. You know, I was almost tempted not to even upload this video because I was that unhappy with it. But I think it's important, you know, to put work out there that you aren't necessarily 100% happy with and that's not perfect because we're not perfect. But anyway, here is it under black light. And I actually think it looks so much better this way. Unfortunately, I won't be journaling under black light though. So I don't know, it looks cool. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and liked the little bit of extra something different at the end. So um, before I go, I just wanted to give a little shout out to uh, the new subscribers that I've had over the last month. Um, had a quite a little boost to the channel so thank you thank you so much and um, if you'd like to support my art and my channel then please please subscribe if you haven't already um, hit the like button and give me some comments because it feeds YouTube's algorithms and helps push my videos to more people so thank you very much and happy November